Hello. I know a lot about uh, having a tight budget or having no budget at all, but still having a need for quality resources. So back in 2011, I started this annual commitment. I'll keep it for as long as I can. And so this commitment is this. Is that in the 2015-2016 school year, I'm offering a free bullying prevention assembly to a school. And I love this for two major reasons. The first one is because it blesses the school in need. And two, it reminds me to never forget where I came from. If you can relate, you're like me, you can relate to a tight budget or no budget at all, but still having a need for quality resources, I'm sure you can appreciate this element of Rock Your Mic. So I'd like for you to participate as well and also share this video with someone who you know who can take advantage of this opportunity. And so here's the steps. Simply go to rockyourmic.com backslash free assembly and fill out the form. Through our Be Hero Tours, we see massive results in four major areas. The first one is seeing the one who bullied apologize to the one who they have bullied. Uh, the second is seeing the one who gets bullied, seeing their faces light up and seeing the weight of insecurity being exchanged for hope because the one who has bullied apologized to them or well, the bystanders now approach them and says, listen, I've seen it go down. Uh, I'm sorry for not saying or anything or doing anything about it. And now I've got your back in this situation. The third, the bystanders, a.k.a. modern day superheroes, make a commitment to, uh, to their schools and their community to make them a better place. They also learn the difference between tattling and reporting and they empower to uh, better their schools and their communities with this knowledge. And fourth, not the least, is the morale that's regained by the responsible authorities. This is adults, teachers, guidance counselors, principals, assistant principals. As their faith is regained, you're seeing all this go down in front of them. I mean, because let's face it, we as adults, we can get into this rut uh, of seeing and hearing all the nonsense of students in this culture. But when you see students change their thinking to positive and act out on it, it does something incredible inside. So the reason why we even started this Be Hero Tour is because I went to a school in Pennsylvania. And in this uh, gym, I've seen a lot of different uh, segments uh, of students. And so as we give this uh, moment of challenge, these two girls come down. They're cheerleaders. They have their cheerleader outfits on. They come down to this girl who is all black. I mean, black eyeliners, lipstick, um, clothes, fingernails. They come down to her and they appear to apologize to her. So they're they they're hugging each other. They're crying. It's not one of them sophisticated cries, you know, where like that. I mean, it's like the snot bubble crowd, <laughs> like that. And so. I proceed to ask the principal, you know, what, what's going on here? And so he told me that these three girls, they grew up together, but apparently um, when the one girl was in middle school, mom and dad got a divorce and they separated. And so since this is a, is a low-income area, uh, girl one, finances not the same in the house, while girl two and three, the cheerleaders, everything is fine. They get the latest of everything. And so they're like in the in crowd. And so as time progresses, they tend to go their separate ways and apparently they're apologizing. Well, a couple years later, I'm driving from a school in Boonesboro, Maryland, and I get a tweet, obviously, from girl number one. She proceeds to tell me this. You came to my school on a Friday, and I had a, a suicide note written out for that Saturday, and I didn't need it anymore. She proceeded to tell me the same story that the principal told me, but she went into this. She said, we went to... We, we were best friends growing up, sleepovers, summer parties, birthday parties, all kinds of stuff together. But mom and dad got a divorce, and so income wasn't the same and, and all that. Uh, and, and she said, when these two girls came down and they apologized to me, they were like my heroes. Like, they literally saved my life. And from that moment, I said, I'm changing it to the Be a Hero Tour because students have the power to literally change a life if they're empowered to, to do it. So I'm encouraging you, do this for your kids. Do this for the school. Do this for the community. You never know what student is in need of a program like this or another program to come in and literally be that agent of change in their life. So if you're selected, you'll receive a phone call by me, and uh, we'll begin the process of hosting this free bullying prevention assembly during your school year. i Tyree from Rock Your Mic. Be blessed. Be a hero.